with us. First story concerns Iran, a nation that was known as Persia until 1979. It used to be a monarchy governed by a Shah, a Persian king. But 40 years ago, that Shah was overthrown and forced into exile. And as a result of the Iranian revolution, the nation became a theocratic republic with Islam as its official religion. One major reason why Iran has been a rival of the United States since around that time is because the U.S. supported the Shah who was overthrown. But there are other reasons, including the fact that the U.S., the United Nations, and the European Union say Iran is an official sponsor of terrorism. That's why they've imposed sanctions or penalties on Iran's economy. As the Middle Eastern country celebrates a revolution milestone this year, its military is showing off a new ballistic missile, a weapon that is said to be capable of traveling more than 600 miles. An Iranian military official called the missile's development an achievement. But the country's missile program concerns other nations around the world, including the U.S., because Iran's supreme leader has called for the destruction of Israel, a U.S. ally in the region. The return from exile of Ayatollah Khomeini in February 1979 and the overthrow of the U.S.-backed Shah marked the culmination of the Islamic Revolution. Businessman Abdul Ghazim Shafei says he organized opposition groups in those days. Forty years later, he believes the revolution produced mixed results. Religiously and ideologically, the revolution achieved its goals, he says, but economically, due to sanctions and domestic mismanagement, we've not yet reached those goals. The Islamic Revolution, also an uprising against America's support for the Shah. In late 1979, Iranian students stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, capturing and holding hostage more than 50 Americans for more than 400 days. U.S.-Iranian relations have never recovered. Hardliners still chanting death to America at Friday prayers, even though Iran's supreme leader recently tried to tone down the rhetoric. Let me make something clear for U.S. leaders, he said. Death to America, it means death to American rulers. We have no problems with the American people. The Trump White House is cracking down on Iran, pulling the U.S. out of the nuclear deal signed by the Obama administration and hitting the country with sanctions that are crippling its economy and causing its currency to plummet. The U.S. says Iran is a threat to Israel and America's allies in the Middle East and lashed out at Iran's ballistic missile program. Iran's answer, a defense expo praising the rockets. Iran shows no signs of bowing to American and international pressure. The country says it will continue to develop its ballistic missile program, which it says is solely for defense purposes. For the first time, Iran recently released video of one of its underground missile assembly facilities. Forty years after the beginning of the Islamic Revolution, the confrontation between the U.S. and Iran continues. Fred Plaitkin, CNN, Tehran.